Hey, what's going on, Charlie here? I'm Jean. Thanks for tuning in to Multicasking. And today with us, we have ourselves a scotch. We have ourselves a special edition scotch. We have ourselves a Lagavulin single malt. Do you want to share the top off? Nope. Huh, it just looks like it does. Yeah, it does. It's just cosmetically Look like it. Look at that. That's pretty neat, huh? Huh. Single malt scotch. Optical illusion. Optical illusion. Single malt scotch. That still has the paper on it that looks like the, the cork. Um, so we're doing uncorking here for you today at the Nick Offerman brand new 11 year Log of Lone edition. Log of Lone Lulu. Finished, folks, finished for four months. In, you want the first or second? Second. In the Guinness casks. Uh, and a fun fact, ooh, look at that color. I was expecting darker actually for being in a Guinness cask. I was expecting lighter, but now that you said Guinness cask, that's, that's why it's like that color. Um, so the kids came to me, they're like, what are we doing for Father's Day? And they're like, I don't know, they don't have any, they don't have any suggestions. I'm like, okay, here's what I'll do. I will go to the store, to the store that we like to go to. I'll find them something for special Father's Day gift. This is what they got. It's a good reason to have kids, just so you know, for all <laughs> these single fellas out there, you get gifts. No, you I get gifts? Um, I can smell the peat from here. <laughs> uh, fun fact though about Charlie here, um, I used to love Guinness. Dark beers, bring me beer, bring me beer. I love it, love a good dark beer. Became allergic to beer. Switched to whiskey, that's why we're doing whiskey right now. Oh, okay, yeah. I'm can, doing a, a peat drive-by. Yeah. I can smell the wow. peat from here. My goodness. But it's not off puttish. Off pettish. Off puttish. Off puttish. Off puttish. Off puttish. Uh, 46 ABV, uh, 92 proof. This is the second time they've done Nick Offerman, the actor from Parks and Rec, has done a uh, collaboration with Log of Lewin. Uh, 2019 was the first time. This is the second time. I don't even know about any of that. All I know is this has got some peat on the nose. But it's also got some of that scotch goodness down it underneath. It does. I'm trying to figure out how to articulate this peat. I mean, it's heavy peat. This is what I would call heavy peat. It's heavy peat, but it's a unique spiced peat, if that makes sense. Huh. It's a sugary peat. This to me is you just open up the Band-Aid box. Peat. Again, something that's been a common theme for us in our, that we've been doing some uncorkings lately. First glass, second glass, they'll get different notes. I'm now, I'm now telling you exactly what this peat is. This is bacon wrapped peat, not cooked bacon, raw bacon wrapped around peat. R wrapped around peat. Yeah, peat is covered in raw bacon, Lord help him. <laughs> Poor fella. Poor guy. What are you gonna do, you know? I don't know, I hope there's some saving of them. But yeah, gorgeous, unique color. Um, it's not gator, not um, ginger, maybe a little ginger ale color. Looks like apple juice. Apple juice, or I was gonna go with uh, canola, canola oil. Mm, well, whatever, you but do you. This is a, a peppercorn bacon wrapped peat. There is some smoke. Yeah. And some of those light fruits. Scotch florals, pear, apple. Man, you gotta, Great. you gotta dig. You gotta take your shovel and dig that peat out, you know, to get underneath there to get anything else. Some, maybe some sweet chocolate. There is some. It's sweeted. It's sweet smoke. Maybe sweet it's smoke. maybe it's smoke from Sweden. That's probably what it is. That's exactly what it is, folks. <laughs> it's not Scottish smoke. It's Swedish smoke. I do like the Swedish crest, blue and gold, fun fact. Things I know. Thank you. You're welcome. It's got a gorgeous nose. It really does, if you like peat. Now, a year ago, I'll say even a, a whole year ago, when I would have been like, ew, get it out of my nose. She just throw the bottle across the room, like, folks. That is yours, I don't want anything to do with it. But I have been coming along, and I actually like peat now. Um, I like that smoky, um, I was, you know, originally I'm like, that's Band-Aid, it's nothing but Band-Aid. 
but it's a delightful smoky band-aid. Mm-hmm. In your mouth. Well, it's not in my mouth, mouth yet, nose. but it's in my nose. Retro health, retro health. Okay. There is a, a bit, of, there's a unique sugar that I can't tell if it's a Skittle, Starburst. There's a brine, definite brine on oh, this. Oh yeah, there's some sea salt. The brine is, the brine is as prevalent as the peat and as the smoke. Uh-huh. Sea salt? That's probably smoke. part of the salted meat that I'm getting, the, 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 ba the bacon. That's probably what you're doing That's now. probably what I'm getting there. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but this is like, you do that again right on your nose? No, I'm salivating. Oh. Then I'm about to blow your mind, Jean, about this scotch. You tell. This scotch, believe it or not, is the first bottle. We have about 300 bottles here. First one with a calorie label. Yeah. How about that, folks? They're the, all zero calories. The first serving size <laughs> is 1.5 fluid ounces. Servings per container is 17. Amount per serving ABV is 46.92 proof. Fluid ounces of alcohol, 0 .0, 0 0.7. Calories, 112. No carbs, folks. No fat, no protein. 112 calories. 112 calories. I got about an ounce here, so I got about 80 calories. Huh. That's the first one, first bottle we have that does that. I now know why I cannot lose weight, folks. No, no. What you now know is this is the only bottle that we own that has calories <laughs> in it. Everything else is calorie free. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. I'm going in to my uh -uh. 112 calories. I'm going to go in. Everything else is calorie free around these here parts. Mmm. That is creamy. That is smoky. There's some peppers. Some light fruits. Dark chocolate. Mmm. Pear. Pear's coming out for me. Mm. Smoky pear, campfire. Oh, that's Ta nice. Heavy smoke. We're going to have to put this on our smoky playlist. Check out yeah. our playlist. We have a playlist? We have lots of playlists. We have like 20 oh, playlists. Our, I would consider that a catalog. It's YouTube calls it a playlist. Whatever. Mm. The finish is smoke, finish is peat. Mm. The long finish. Mm -hmm. I can tell. I could not take it. I, I can tell right now. It's it's gonna it's gonna stay on my tongue for another thirty minutes. Mm -hmm. Incredibly mm -hmm. long finish. That's good. Vanilla. Oh yeah. I was. It could be because it's the neck pour, but I was expecting more of a chocolate, more of a coffee. I'm getting chocolate. Are you okay? Mm -hmm. Maybe it's just my dream. Yeah. I, I'm getting vanilla and chocolate and smoke and pears. Um, a little salt. Yeah, the brine. Brine, smoky, smoked pear. Yeah. I was just expecting more of a. Okay, now that I say that, now I'm getting a, some soft chocolate. I'm getting that Guinness chocolate. Okay. I'm not getting this. Not getting any coffee yet. I was expecting to get some coffee. I don't like Guinness, so I'm happy that I'm not getting a lot of Guinness. Love Guinness. Mm -mm. Guinness is awesome. No, I'm a Miller Lite girl when it comes to beer. Dark. I think Amberbach is probably the, the darkest I would I usually could go, go for Amberbach. I like that. Mm. Amberbach, Guinness. A drop of water didn't do too much for me for the nose. Smoked orange. You got a citrus note there. Mm hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I'll give you a little bit of orange. I'm getting... Just a hint though, I'm not getting a, a lot of orange. I'm getting some strong orange peel. I mean, like, not the, the juicy part of the orange, but orange peel. Smoked. Maybe some apricot or... Um, Ooh, yeah. Um, mm. Not peach. Maybe just apricot. Yeah. Now I'm, some, now I'm getting some Band-Aid. The, the peach kind of shine a little bit more through. Mmm. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Did a drop of water change the palate for me. Um, boy, I tell you. Now, to me, not too much. It didn't change too much the palate, but my goodness, this is such a good dram. The creaminess, the smokiness. 
I think this should be a Mother's Day gift. Again, folks, don't sleep on letting your dram air out. Heck yeah, the water changed a ton. Add, really? Cranked up the peppers. Separated, I had the peppers before. Separated the vanilla to the creaminess to the point that I can, I can get that Guinness cream that I couldn't get without the water. Hmm. Yeah, it completely changed the palate for me. I don't know, maybe I didn't put enough water in it. I just put a drop. I can get the normal log of lewin, get the peat, mm. get the band-aid, but now mid palate, the creaminess of the Guinness comes through. The darkness of the Guinness comes through. It's dark. I'll give you dark. Sweet. Now I'm getting the coffee on the finish. Finish finishes, but not mm -hmm. not until the finish. Interesting. Not I, no. Until the finish. But what do you like better, the, the, the 11 or the 12? The 12 better, but this is definitely a runner up. I mean, this, um, why do I like the 12 better? I think it's just a little bit more creamy and I think there's a lot more complexity with the 12, um, but it's been a you know week or so since I've had that one. <laughs> <laughs> maybe we need to do but, a, maybe we need to do a blind versus. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Mm. Yeah, what, no can't because of the color. Mm -hmm. We don't have dark blue cairns yet. We need to invest in some good dark blue cairns. I like to guess your score. Before we show your score, what do you think our score is going to be? What do you think it's going to be? Gene, what's yours? Do you want me to tell you? No, I want you to show them. Oh. I think you did a 90-90. What'd you do? A 90-90? 90. It's a 90-90. I think you did a 90. No. I did a 90. What'd you do? 91. 91. 91. Um, you paid for it for me. This is mine. What did you What did well, you buy this for? I did for? pay for it, but the kids' names were on it, so it's actually from them. I Thank you, minors, for buying buying alcohol underage. I appreciate that about <laughs> you when you watch this years down the road. Yeah, um, eighty dollars. You know why that's awesome, Gene? That's awesome because that is the MSRP. Very rarely you get a whiskey for the MSRP it's either. Right at eighty dollars. Right at eighty. Uh, is it worth it? Eighty dollars. Yes, I, it's definitely worth eighty dollars. Yep. Heck yeah. If you like uh, Pete, you like if, well. If you like the brand, it's worth getting. Yeah, uh, you kind of do have to like Pete because it is heavy Pete. Um, uh, you can't get around that. But boy, I tell you, it's creamy Pete. Pete, mm -hmm. Pete has been creamed. And wrapped in bacon. Mm-hmm. He's having himself a day. He is. He's having Poor himself fella. a day. Anything to add there, Gene Mowry? I have nothing else to add. Happy Father's Day to me. Yes, happy Father's Day to me too. Which is coincidental because he makes a Father's Day video with his daddy every year. Yeah, so. and if you read the back, I like the boxes. Here's my thing to add. Okay. And I do like the boxes. And there's a little thing on the back about um, he and his dad. Oh. Huh. thing about... Um, how he came up with this and he needed his dad's approval and dad took a drink of it and after some time gave his nod of approval. Nod of approval. That's that's awesome. Your dad just goes, hey dad, do you like this? Or that's what a dad goes. It's a bad day. <laughs> Thank you, Jeannie, for your something to add. You're welcome. I'm Charlie. I'm Jean, and I hope you are just as thirsty as we are. Ding. Mm, mm, mm.